powered by Philips SpeechLife. In this short tutorial, we're going to show you how easy it is to use your smartphone and the browser SpeechLife application for your document creation workflow. Showing my iPhone here, just going to open that. And on the bottom right, you see the Philips Voice Recorder app. It launches right into the recording screen of the app. On the very top, you see the name. I can rename that by clicking on it. The keyboard comes up. Um, a test dictation. Yep. I can also set a high priority by clicking that check mark here. And in the middle, you have the recording button, the play, rewind, fast forward. Let's record a first dictation. Dear ladies and gentlemen, comma, new paragraph. Thanks for taking the time today. Full stop, new paragraph. Speech Life is the Philips dictation solution in the cloud and brings a lot of benefits to businesses to increase document turnaround time. Full stop, new paragraph, kind regards, comma, new line, Yvonne. I have now a 21 second dictation. You can see here I could even cut certain parts out of that dictation. Um, when I rewind here on the top with my finger, you can see I could start listening here into um, or starting the playback on second number eight. On the bottom, um, sending it off is the third button here. With hitting that button, I send that dictation to Speech Life, and my transcriptionist will receive a notification via email. Let's open the browser side for the transcriptionists, and I'll leave that here next to each other. So for the supporting staff, open your Chrome or Firefox browser, go to speechlife.com, and here on the right you have the login. Login with your email address and your password. And while we wait for that, I'm also gonna show you on the iPhone, here on the top right, you have access to all your dictations. You can see the test dictation is the dictation that we just created. Um, the arrow pointing up is the indication that dictation has been sent. And you can see it already here on the transcribe side. The dictation is highlighted with that blue bar. That means uh, transcription is still pending. When I click on that dictation, I can now open it in the player. And you can see everything else is grayed out. With hitting your Philips foot pedal, you can now start the recording and listen into it and control it with your, with your foot pedal. Um, you can even set the playback speed, the volume, and in uh, the settings, you have further player settings with auto backspace, winding speed, and playback speed. You can also customize your foot pedal, choosing the four foot pedal or the three um, pedal foot pedal. So let's assume I've uh, listened into that dictation. Um, I can change the dictation properties if I want to. I can close it, I can also suspend it, or I finish my dictation. And that's what I'm going to do now. Um, then you're asked if you would like to choose the file that you've just been working on. I'll do that for that demonstration. And um, I've saved the document already here, Speech Life Demo. So I'm now attaching my document to the finished dictation. You can see the dictation state has finished from, or has changed from transcription pending to transcription finished. And um, it's now here in our uh, folder, finished dictations. Bringing up my iPhone on the left side, you can now see 
that the dictation status has also changed on the app. It's the dark green symbol with the check mark. And you see here that we have an attachment on the dictation. So every document that the transcriptionist attaches on the browser side will also be available for the author, for the doctor, for the lawyer on the smartphone. By hitting the three dots here on the side, you can open the attachment and review it on your phone. So that is the document I've just added to the finished dictation. Let's have another look. On the top you see all dictations. You can also tap only onto the draft recordings. That gives you shows you all the recordings that are still on the app. They have not been sent. And then here on the end you have your sent dictations. And you can see I have three dictations that are not finished yet. So this one is, uh, these ones are pending and that one is suspended. Going back to my drafts. So I stopped the dictation for whatever reason before. Now I want to continue with the first dictation, um, Yvonne 9. By clicking on it, I'm right back in my recordings tab. And when I click the recording now, the app is asking me, do you want to overwrite, insert, or append? I want to append, and I can now finish my dictation that I have saved earlier on my iPhone. Um, I also set here high priority, and I send it off again to my transcriptionist. Just changing here my view, and you can see that dictation has already arrived. For my transcription side, you, you see that uh, my transcriptionist in that demo has four different authors, author one, two, author three, and SPS. So I can only look, um, I click on these folders, and then I only see um, the dictations of author one or author two. There are no, dic no dictations. And then author three. I can also. Um, only have a view on all pending dictations. So here it shows now all also one, two, three. I can also see my suspended and my finished dictations. Let's go back to that dictation. Again, I open it in the player. I finish it. I'm not attaching a file this time. Click OK. And I refresh my phone here on the left, and you see um, that dictation has been finished. That's how easy it is to use um, yeah, smartphone dictation uh, with Philips SpeechLife.